Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad from Radko Tarot and uh, in this video we're going to look into Taurus, uh, Sun, Moon and also Rising Tarot reading for the week uh, 21st of uh, February up until 27th of February 2022 and uh, should you want to skip the draw of the cards and you want to move right away to the reading uh, you can do so by using the timestamps in the, the timestamp that is uh, in the uh, in the description down below and uh, should you enjoy the content of the channel guys and uh, you do wish to support us just leave a like subscribe uh, hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads nor our live streams as well and with that being said let's move right away to the uh, draw uh, so the first card for you Taurus uh, that is going to be the six of uh, wands Followed by the second card of your spread, which stands as the Ace of uh, Pentacles. Followed by the third card here, which is uh, the Ten of Cups. The fourth card of your spread, that is uh, going to be uh, the Strength card. And uh, the final one for you, Taurus, uh, that happens to be the Eight of Wands. All right, so we do have these five cards. It looks a uplifting week, and let's see how this plays out in the reading itself. You can see now your cards on the screen, Taurus, and uh, that will be a very ambitious week uh, for what we can see here, because uh, establishing... Uh, successful business endeavors being successful into your career and as well establishing harmony into your relationships whether those relationships are family relationships um, or romantic or, or friendship relationships it's not going to be enough for you i mean you are going to do all that and still you will feel that you do have the energy for even more and oh boy, you couldn't be more right about that because at the end of the week, you are to find yourself having not just only established a very good foundation of your happiness, but as well having so many more other things for you to choose from to grow even further. And that's why the week is going to be ambitious. Uh, just by all means... Uh, follow your into uh, right at the start of the reading i will give you here the advice of it follow your enthusiasm do not do stuff that you are not looking forward to because that way you are going to burn out very very quickly and you are just going to ask yourself why you are slogging through all that what's the reason right so uh starting up here the week it seems that whatever efforts you set on previous week or previous months they are gonna pay out pay off and the payoff is going to be big time uh, the relationship in between these two cards it's it's almost flawless uh, so uh, right at the start of the week you can expect huge rewards for your previous efforts whether they are into your career or whether they are into your romantic field nonetheless you are to be recognized that you are the person who did the most uh, and you do deserve your rewards as well uh, if you do need any help with whatever enterprise you are struggling at that point Point, should there be any of such uh, that also is coming your way as well and this thing the whole thing is going to provoke rather quite of a peak of experiences with either your beloved one or with either you know your or within your career why not in both places i mean this could be a huge stepping stone or should you prefer a milestone into the growth of your life and those rewards that you are going to get which could be the kiss of your beloved one or the the, the so much weighted yes i am going to marry you or or you know you you prove yourself long enough and now it's time for you to get a raise or get a promotion that is going to give you the necessary opportunity or the rare opportunity here to further your goal which either could be being successful into your career or being happy into your relationship 
we all have both of these goals so it's, it's going to give you the incentive for to follow both of these goals and uh, you are by the middle of the week you are to feel mm, amazing okay it's, it's just right here in between okay right here in between these two cards you will feel like you could have not you you couldn't ask for anything else from life okay it's just you you have you will you will think that you have everything you want as a as a future not exactly established yet but it is lingering there and you are striding into that direction uh, so you will have that feeling of content, exhilaration as well, um, passion to, to just chase that these opportunities and, and daydream, if you will, about the future and how the future is going to turn out. And things are going to turn out by the way you are um, expecting them to turn out for the most part here with the Ten of Cups. They discard everybody, every reader just says that that is almost where or literally where your wishes are coming true more or less yes and i will tell you why more or less because it's some we we do have very ambitious wishes right where we do daydream and imagine the perfect the perfect scene of of our romantic life or of our career that seldom happens and uh, at some point you know things are revolving or they are settling in a such a way that we are just happy with it and that becomes our dream and this is the moment of the ten of cups at that point at the middle of the week should you lost faith in in, in the future or even in life there are these people that are for, for one or another reason they have lost the the, the sense of life okay okay or the, the drive for it well that is the moment where that sense either all of a sudden or slowly progressively is going to come back to, back again to us and if we lost the reason to just live we we lost a, a direction agenda or what to live for well that is the moment we are going to regain that reason uh, back again but also here as the next card it is the strength card the ten of uh, cups ex not exploits but manifests through a very rare property and that is the property that at some point no matter how much you want it, it comes a time where you do want more and i will explain you what i mean here um we all had these moments where we prayed to whatever god we worship or whatever spiritual um, entity we are worshiping that if they give us just that we want we wouldn't ask them for anything else and for <clears throat> for one person or another what we want from this god or entity it's it's given to us but six months after or a year after we for, we kind of forget that we we begged them for it and now we are begging them for something else and that is the human nature that no matter how much we want we at some point we do take it for granted and that is not even the expression we just you know solidified it as much as it's now ours and now we strive for something more and that something more is going to appear here at the second stage of the week you know after the middle of the week moving forward uh you Taurus, are going to set some kind of an, an ambitious goal some kind of an, an ambitious enterprise that is going to be very challenging but this is where exactly it's uh uh, how can i put it into words it's it's the sweetness of it it is that challenge it will feel like you are climbing a a, a a mountain but you know that once you are at the top of the summit and you look at the vista of that enterprise it it will be all worth it so you you should prepare yourself for a very very ambitious uh goal to be bestowed upon you by yourself that is and it will require a lot of work endurance and perseverance through patience even also not everybody is going to be agree with it just to warn you of it but you will feel the no necessity to explain yourself why you want to do what you want to do or what is uh what what is into uh, uh 
in it for you okay it's just you will know that that's the right thing for you and that will be good enough for you moving forward um in terms of romance with the strength card you can expect a lot of passion in the second week of uh in the second part of this week and if you do have a romantic um how can i put it into words interaction at that point you can expect a lot of sex to take place or rather like a uh, a, a drive for that passion you may not actually do it but it, the the feeling and the the pool is gonna be there and uh you are gonna make a very fast progress uh into this new enterprise into this new goal of yours as we do have the eight of wands almost immediately doors are gonna start opening up for you like propositions okay or uh <clears throat> aside jobs and so on and so forth it's just the eight of wands says that at the end of the week you are gonna have in front of you a lot of options available and a lot of enterprises to choose from or rather like paths to choose from and uh, it all comes to that you know how how you're gonna play your cards now the eight of wands is card that accompanies a how can I put it into words? A, uh, a, a many options available, but they are. But some of them are carrying on with risks. Some of them are simply. Um, unaccomplishable by you but you wouldn't know that if you do not face them with a clear-headed mind at that point do not allow your ambition to blind you uh, to to blind you that's why whenever you feel an enthusiasm for something this is where you jump and uh you you jump into action so with that being said taurus uh this was your weekly general tarot reading hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and uh, we are to see each other next time until then bye